um, g'day YouTube, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple um, text editor in Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. So, um, first of all, we're going to go and create a new project, a uh, Windows Form Application, and we're going to name it Text Editor. Text Editor. And OK. Just let it start up. OK. Now we can um, go down to menus and toolbars, insert a menu strip, and we're going to go file, and then sub menu from file, we're going to go save, and then open. And then over here we're going to go edit, and we're going to go font, and color. Next, we're going to resize the form a bit. So nice and tidy and we're going to go and insert a rich text box and we're going to go here and then gonna, well, you click on the little arrow um, rich text box tasks and then dock and parent container all nice and now we're just going to do a bit of things going to go and the forum text we're just going to call text editor or something doesn't really matter Startup position, we're going to go center screen. Yes, and now we're going to go file and save. Oh, wait, whoops. First of all, we're going to go to dialogues and we're going to insert save dialog, open file dialog, color dialog, and a font dialog. So next, we're going to go file and double click on save to bring up this thing. And um, I'm just going to pause the video, type all the text, and yeah. Okay, so here you have the text. It's save file dialog dot title equals save your work, and save file dialog dot filter rich text file dot rtf word document dot doc um, all files and dot save file dialog dot override prompt equals true. If save file dialog one dot show equals system f windows forms dot dialog results dot ok rich text box one dot save file save file dialog dot file name rich text box stream type dot rich text that's save file next we're going to go to open and I'm just going to pause the video again to type in all the code ok so here you have it open file dialog one dot title open your work Open file dialog one dot filter equals rich text file word document and all files. If open file dialog dot show dialog equals system windows forms dot dialog results dot ok. Rich text box one dot load file and open file dialog one dot file name. And next we're going to go to edit font. And now I'm going to pause it again and give you the codes. So here you have it. Um, font tool. If font um, dialog one dot show dialog equals window system force the dialog results that okay rich text box one dot font equals font dialog one dot font <coughs> and next we're going to go to color um, and now I'm going to give you the code for so here you have the color um, if color dialog one dot show dialog equals system windows forms dot dialog results that okay rich text box one dot four color equals color dialog one dot color so that's the color so here's all the code if you want to pause the video now you may do so and write down the code if you never got it um, open you can pause it now again if you want font pause it if you want color pause it if you want so let's now go and edit it I mean debug it so you can either press the little play button up here or press F5 Okay, so start up text editor, all nice. Okay, so let's just type in test for you YouTube, and then we're gonna go file save. See, it says save your work, rich text box, word document, all files. I'm gonna save it as rich text box, and let's just save it to oh yeah, this, and I'm just gonna save it to. YouTube and save. Close this and I'll go to show you. I'm going to go to Internet Explorer and here it is YouTube. 
starts up. Okay, so it opens up and you'll see that it says test for YouTube. Next, we're going to go and debug it again. And then we're going to try file open. See, it will just start up with that. And then you're going to click on YouTube, which is text, rich text file, and open, and you'd see it would show it there. Edit, font, choose a font, um, yeah, whatever. Chooses it, color, yeah, it's just basic stuff, and yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it.